Hello everyone, welcome to part 202 of advanced e-commerce series in Laravel 8. So we will continue working on the wishlist functionality. And in this video, we are going to add the wishlist button uh, in which we are going to check that uh, whether the uh, product has been added in the user wishlist or not. But first of all, we are going to check that whether the user is logged in or not as the wishlist functional functionality is only for the logged in user okay so uh, let's start uh, first of all we are going to update the detail page i'm going to open the detail bed file i'm going to close the earlier files and we'll open the detail bed file okay so here uh, i'm going to add the wish list button so i'm going to check uh, the add to card button after that i will add the wish list button here is the add to card button so i'm going to add the similar kind of button so i'm going to copy this uh, uh, button for the uh, wish list okay and i will make it type button i am going to update this button with the help of ajax okay so i will keep it button and uh, other things that i want to update uh, is uh, i want to check that whether the user is logged in or not okay so i will add one condition here if if user is logged in uh, okay so for logged in user uh, and else so there are two buttons will be there for one for the logged in user and one for the logged out user one for the user that are not registered yet or that uh, not logged in yet okay so this is a kind of thing so we will work on logged in user later on but first we are going to work on the user who not logged in okay so for that we are going to create the button and uh, here i'm going to add the wish list button okay so here i'm will add wish list and uh, here uh, like we are using the classes font f some classes so i'm going to open the font f some classes ones that we have in our laravel uh, framework here we have already added that okay laravel uh, font f some okay font f some classes we are using so uh, here i'm going to search for the heart uh, so if i will get the heart uh, or i'm going to copy this icon shopping cart from where we are getting this okay i'm going to check uh, where we have to find this one so that we will get the another class another font have some class okay so you can check that we are having in this class this is the font have some here, here we have all the classes so we are going to search for the hurt so this is the icon hurt empty that we are going to use and icon hurt these two classes we are going to use okay so i am going to make it icon hurt right uh, icon hurt empty see for for the user who not logged in yet we are going to have that icon hurt empty class for those users okay so i'm going to check once that how it looks that hurt button has come up here here you can see the hurt button uh, is there and wishlist button has also arrived but we need to uh, correct it okay so uh, we are going to uh, add here uh, we are going to add one break here something like this i want to add or we can add uh, div here okay so we're going to add div. let's see how it looks still not fine we are going to check okay we can do one more thing here uh, we will add one div like this and a few classes uh, i think sorry uh, that is fine but uh, we can add here uh, we can move this one pull right 
and we can add button space okay and also uh, we can do the same thing here okay so now it seems to be perfect okay you can see add to cart and both wishlist button are looking good so so this is the button that uh, we want that if the user is going to click on this button without logged in then uh, then it will show the error message it will show the alert uh, it will ask the user to log in to add plug in wishlist okay so first thing this is the first thing that we want to use and uh, we are going to add one class here like simple user login class okay so and we are going to add uh, in front script or oh, this one we can close uh, we are going to add in front script at the last we can add uh, its uh, click function uh, we can add it here okay uh, so we will add here uh, on the click of this user login class uh, on the click function of this user login class we are going to uh, we are going to show the alert message to the user okay uh, so here we are going to show the alert message to the user login to add products in your wish list okay so this is the message that we want to show to the user like if the user now clicks on wish list button here we are going to show this message login to add products in your wish list okay so now it is okay so now the next thing is uh, we are going to uh, before adding uh, the uh, product in the wish list in the wish list table we want to add the product in the user wish list okay so uh, so for that uh, we are going to count uh, that there is already a product in the user wish list or not okay so uh, so first thing is that we want to show uh, whether this heard icon like if uh, like this is the product 2 and uh, i'm going to log in okay i'm going to log in now with the user id 1 here you can see the user id 1 so i'm going to log in with the user id 1 i'm going to check that which one is the user id 1 so i'm going to log in with that id i'm going to check okay see this one i mean that is it of yopmail.com it is having id 1 so i am going to log in with this id amit at the rate of uofmail.com password is 123456 okay so here you can see i able to log in and now i will go to product id 1 as well okay so uh, see i uh, this uh, wish list is not appeared because uh, we uh, we will copy this one this button and we are going to paste it here but we are going to remove this user login will not come here okay so now the button will appear but this product is already there in user wish list we can check here the product is already there two products are in the user wish list of user id one both one and two product okay so the heart must be filled so for that we need to count the wish list uh, we need to count the product of the wish list of the user wish list that that product is already there in the user wish list or not and for that we are going to create one function in wish list model okay so we are going to create the function in wish list model okay so let's create one function in the wish list model quickly create we can create this function public static uh, function uh, sorry uh, this one has been created okay so i'm going to just make do like this okay and uh, here the product id will come okay product id and here the function name we are going to make it count wish list okay so we are going to count the wish list of the user that the product is uh, already there in user wish list or not so we are going to count wish list here we are going to check the wish list model and we are going to compare uh, user id okay 
user id we are having in auth okay so uh, we can uh, check from the auth itself auth user id and the next one we are going to compare is the product id okay so product id we are returning from the uh, from the detail uh, file okay so this one uh, we are going to take it sorry product id will be like this okay so count okay so we are going to return this count wish list like this okay so now we are going to uh, add this one here first of all see we can also start php like this you know about this thing this we have started now doing from the part 201 okay of the uh, of the advanced e-commerce series now it is the 202 video okay so now uh, see uh, we are going to make it like dollar count wish list okay so uh, we are going to make it zero initially and uh, and inside this one uh, we are going to check it okay uh, so we are going to uh, do once more uh, dollar count wish list equal to from the wish list we are going to call the function from the uh, wish list model count wish list model and uh, we are going to uh, pass that product id uh, where is the product id here it is okay so we are going to uh, uh, this count wish list here inside this one like this okay so here semicolon is also not required i think okay so and php okay so so now uh, now we are going to say we are going to check the count wish list here inside this one we are going to check uh, like uh, if uh, count wish list equal is uh, is greater than 0 okay if it is greater than 0 then we are going to use the icon herd class okay uh, and uh, and if it is uh, you can say if it is zero or empty okay then we are going to uh, uh, have icon hurt empty class okay so like this and now it must work fine let's see and if okay so now uh, it must be filled class uh, it must be filled hurt i'm going to refresh this one so let's see some error has come okay so we need to add uh, use wish list at the top as well. Use app wish list, and if you are using Laravel 8, uh, if you have installed this project in Laravel 8, then you need to uh, you, you will have this model inside your uh, model directory. Then models will come up here. Okay. So let's refresh and non-static method method. Okay. So public static function must come here so let's see now it must work fine no auth auth is not included so we need to add auth here as well use auth now we are going to refresh once again and here you can see it is filled up okay so this product is already there in user wish list so that's why the heart is filled up okay so in case if you will remove the product from the user wish list so if i am going to make uh, delete this one this item or if i will put some other product in place of one i am going to make it three okay so uh, now i am going to refresh it now you can see it is empty because this product is not added in user wish list so far so once again i am going to make it uh so if i will add once again like uh, one product okay going to add from here then you can see that hurt is filled up okay and in the same way we can check the another product 
and this one is also filled up because this product is already there this product is having the 2 id and user id is 1 user id is 1 and product id is 2 so this is also filled up okay so if we will check the another products then they are not in the user wish list then the herd is empty okay you can see the empty herd for the other products okay so now uh, we are going to do one thing uh, on the click of this one uh, like if the user will click on this herd then it means that user wants to uh, wants to uh, remove this product from his wish list and if the uh, if this herd uh, uh, is empty then if the user will click on that empty herd it means that the user wants to add the product in the wish list okay so so this thing we are going to do in next video with the help of ajax and jquery we are going to do this thing in the real time instantly we are going to fill up or remove the product from the user wish list so stay tuned for that okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye